spiritual work by St. Teresa, Child Jesus, the interior castle, Teresa makes a profound insight. She uses the metaphor of the human soul being like seven different rooms in the castle, and that each of them are meant to be a progressive growth in the work of holiness. She said the reason that so few people grow in sanctity is because they enter the first room, which she would call the room of self-knowledge, and she used the image or metaphor of a room that is filled with mirrors. People often, when they enter this room, they get scared. They take one look at themselves and they run away. They do not want to do what today we call their own inner work. Today's scriptures really speak to this, obviously in language that's ancient. But we look at the prophet's words and Jeremiah saying, all I'm doing is speaking the truth, Lord. Now these people want to kill me. Isn't that exactly what we want to do with our truth speakers? Whether the truth speakers in our own family, truth speakers at the ACC, truth speakers in society at large, in the church at large. It's very difficult for us to hear truth. Even in our own personhood, there are parts of our own being that are trying to wake us up to the truth of what's happening inside. Maybe we're feeling unusually tired. Or maybe there's a sickness that's prevailing. These are parts of us saying, wait, wait, wait a second, something's out of order here. Listen up. Listen up. And so Jesus' words cut to the quick as he says directly to his apostles, listen, here's what's going to happen. It's going to happen because Jesus was a truth speaker, and both political and religious authorities didn't like it. They could not stand to hear what he had to say, how he modeled it for him, how he offered to help them. They couldn't stand it. So, rather than changing, they decided, let's get rid of the messenger. Let's pervert, twist, and destroy the message so that be all gone. Wow. Church gives us this reading of Lent to remind us that this is what Lent is about. Where is God speaking truth to us, to you and me? Where is God inviting us, rather than trying to change or twist the word of God or change and twist what God's saying to us, to humbly say, Lord, you're right. Show me how I can do this. Show me how I can step into a new image of myself. Show me how this mirror called reality can help me to see and experience myself differently in the way that you see and experience me. So my friends, we're not to do this alone because it's much too hard for us to do it alone. We do it with the accompaniment and support, the encouragement of community and also by the grace of God. And that's why we come every day to the Eucharist. Remind us, we need each other. We need God. And in that great double gift, the truth begins to take seed inside us and bear fruit for the here and now and the here and hereafter.